This is the 31 Day Healing Devotional with Chief Newton. Day 21 The Father's Love. The Father's Love personifies the purest expression of fatherly care, tenderness, kindness, and mercy. The Father's Love is for everyone and for all times and seasons. It is unconditional, selflessly unselfish, and ever so enduring and unchanging. What words are there really to tell of a glimpse of it? The Father's love never diminishes. He loves you still, even when you mess up. His love remains unyielding as He waits for you patiently to retrace your steps. The Father will not abandon you as He guides you to do what is right by the leading of His Spirit. The love of God is eternal, everlasting and constant. Nothing will make Him change His mind about you. Apostle Paul declares, I am fully persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities nor powers, nor things present nor things to come, nor height nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You have the Son, you have His life, even the life of God, even the love of God. Beloved, no one, nothing can separate you from the love of God. The unconditionality of the love of God is a constancy, never changing. Let no one condemn you because of your past, and never you let your heart condemn you for your past. As far as God is concerned, your past is past. And as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed your sins from you. In Christ, dear friend, you are a brand new creature. And no one is permitted to judge you, condemn you, harass you or afflict you. Let it be clear to you that as long as you abide in Christ, the love of the Father will continually shake you out, flooding your being with continual beams of his guiding light until you are fully established in his will. The love of the Father doesn't desire your hurt or punishment. He continually reaches out to help you escape the judgment of destruction. The love of the Father is kind, patiently bearing with us even when we falter. The love of the Father is devoid of envy and pride, never seeking his own, never contemplating evil. Rather, he is gentle, calm, and humble in disposition. The love of God, the Father's love, is selflessly unselfish. He does not tangle with iniquity, but rejoices in truth. He bears long with us and believes always that it is possible. He does not put up with impossibilities, for he hopes all things are possible. Remember this one thing always, that the Father's love is so tender so caring, so comforting, that the love of all the loving fathers put together cannot compare with it. Words fail to capture just a glimpse of this love that simply overwhelms those who have tasted of it. Are you such that you never knew the love of the Father? Were you abused by the one you called Father? Or did you have an absentee Father? He just was never there for you. Don't worry, my friend. Lift up yourself and rejoice. But you have a loving Heavenly Father who never leaves you nor forsakes you. His everlasting arms are stretched out to you today. He is waiting to give you a big warm embrace. Receive the love of the Father today. And let go of your heartaches, sorrow, and despondence. The Father's love calls out to you. Come to me, son. Come to me, daughter, and abide in my warm embrace and be happy. No matter what your issues may be, I can assure you that the love of God will dissolve it away. Yes, the love of God dissolves away mysteries and evils. The devil cannot stand the love of God. He literally freaks out and fizzles away. Now, beloved, lift up your hands and receive the love of God. As you gently call the name Jesus, the love of God will come upon you like liquid fire. Father, let your love flow. Let your love flow. Jesus. Again, Jesus. 
Jesus. Receive it now. Rika soita ikasata hina. Amashiada kisata ikasata hizahata. Rima kusiana hakanaza hita. Aziba kushiata hikazinata hinda hasa. Rika yata hikasanada. Neya to hikasota hina hina hasa. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now check yourself. That heaviness, pain, aches, weakness is gone. You are healed of whatever ailment. Check and confirm. Glory to God. Faith action. Begin to thank the Lord for your healing and freedom. Thank you, Father, for healing me. I receive it. I have manifestation in Jesus' name. Amen. Two. Tell someone about the Father's love. How satisfying and comforting His love is. Tell them to come to Jesus. That they may feel this love. Three. Do you know someone who is struggling with one issue or the other? Do you know someone who has need of healing? Then of course, without hesitation, introduce this healing devotional to them. When you do, you are in fact sowing healing. And you know that whatever you sow is what you reap. So you sow healing and you reap healing. I urge you to share this devotional to as many people as you can. And before you know it, your own healing will be fully confirmed and established to the glory of God. Four, remember God is most pleased when we share our testimonies. Besides, it will fully establish your healing. Send your testimonies to Jim Newton at Ymail. Dot com. Finally, remember to say thank you, Jesus, with a Thanksgiving free will offering. You can give securely at the payment link in the description section. Be blessed as you do so. Of the Holy Communion as our definitive faith action. Get your elements ready. You can use juice or non alcoholic wine soft drink or even water to represent the blood it makes no difference god will honor your faith and you can use a tiny piece of wafer biscuit or bread to represent the flesh of jesus now say this after me lord jesus i obey your command to eat your flesh and drink your blood in remembrance of what you did for me at Calvary. You shed your blood for the remission of my sins and by the stripes of the wounds you sustained. You took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. Not one remains. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, it is illegal of the devil to put any disease, any evil in my body. There is no place in my body for them. Lord Jesus, as I eat your flesh and drink your blood, terminate all evils still clinging to my body. Thank you, Jesus, for I know that the price was fully paid. You may partake now. Eat the flesh of Jesus and drink the blood of Jesus. It is done. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Finally, do kindly click on the subscribe button if you have not already done so. This will enable us to notify you whenever we have a new day's message uploaded. Be blessed as you do so.